I want to watch him. I want to watch him. Come on. Come on, little guy. You can do it. Come on, little guy. You can do it. Come on, little guy. You can do it. Go for the... Hey guys, D Field here and welcome back to a brand new video. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day today. Guys, I think your well wishes has finally come through. My voice is sounding a little bit better. Thanks to you guys. Thank you guys so much for wishing me all the well. But guys, we are back on Roblox today for another Roblox simulator. Today, guys, we are actually going to be creating a plague of our own, a virus of our own, and infecting the Robloxian people. Now, guys, I have checked this game out just a little bit, and what it kind of reminds me of is a simulator game sort of mixed in with that game on your phone called Plants and Zombies. I believe that's what it's called. That's literally what it kind of reminds me of. But guys, let's go ahead and begin our journey over here. We got our boy Jarl. Hello and welcome to Infection Inc. My name is Jarl and I will be your guide through your capitalist adventure. Before zombies can take over the world, we must exterminate all humans. Wait, guys. So am I on the zombies team here? Wait, what? Your job is to build an infection empire, but there's a catch. There are other corporations trying to kill the humans as well to expand your own empire you have to fight the competition that's the art of capitalism oh baby to get started go touch the button that says start working so as you guys can see over here we've got a little bit of a simulator and the entire point of the simulator guys is to kill all the humans in the center of this map so let's get this started guys uh, I'm not really sure what to expect over today let's go ahead and just hit start working congrats you have purchased your first zombie spawner your first zombie spawner is a manual spawner this means you must crank it by hand to spawn a zombie. Okay, okay. Seems simple enough. After you crank it 30 times, blah, blah, blah. After you purchase a control center, blah, 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 blah. All right, guys. So I literally have to stand here and crank this thing freaking 30 times. What the heck is this animation? <laughs> oh, my gosh. What is it doing, bro? That looks so freaking weird, guys. Look at that. We got seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Oh, my gosh. My timing is so off. Yo, yo, I have a zombie. Wait, how do I get out of here? I want to watch him. I want to watch him. I want to watch him. Come on. Come on, little guy. You can do it. Come on, little guy. You can do it. Come on, little guy. You can do it. Go for the... All right, guys. <clears throat> We're not gonna talk about it. We're just, you know what? We're just gonna, we're just gonna become a zombie ourselves and. <laughs> All right, guys, that definitely did not work. Buy the control center for twenty pounds over here. Hmm, guys, do I really want to spend a little bit of Robux on this game right now? As you guys all know, for these simulator games, I love to spend a little bit of Robux to give us a little bit of a head start. And I literally gotta stand over here, guys, and crank this manually thirty times for one zombie to come out. I might want to go ahead and spend the time to actually buy a little bit of Robux over here. Let's go ahead and spawn in another zombie. This one zombie right here is literally getting wrecked by this one cop, guys. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, credit shop, guys. Oh, how much is 1,000 credits, guys? 1,000 credits is only 200. You know what, guys? Let's just go ahead and do it. You know what? It's fine. 1,000 credits, 200 Robux. Not too big of a deal. Well done. Nice work. You have purchased the control center. Oh, snap. Here you will be able to upgrade your zombies health speed and lifespan okay you're also able to purchase hats here to give your zombies a personal touch to use the control center walk onto the green platform okay now i leave you on your own to destroy the humans make us zombies proud guys we are about to create the biggest zombie empire you've ever seen now with the thousand dollars guys what can we actually buy here owner door buy walls there's a control center over here where i can control like the size of like the spawners and stuff dude this game is is absolutely freaking crazy man there's so much things i can actually buy but what i think i'm actually gonna do guys exploding zombie spawner there's 400 robux let me go ahead and purchase all of these normal zombie spawners over here guys now is there what's a path what is this whoa dude there's a laser generator there's a ladder to a second floor dude there's so much stuff over here regular zombie spawner okay so do these ones over here guys the ones that i bought oh these 
everyone spawn zombies automatically, guys. What is science equipment over here, guys? Oh my gosh. This is going to be really freaking hard, guys, because literally there's a cop just camping right here and he's wrecking my zombies. So like, what do I do over here? Am I supposed to just buy more of these things? Like, I don't know if these are cosmetics or if they actually like help my zombie or anything. I literally have no idea what I'm supposed to be buying over here, guys. You know what I should probably do though? Let me go ahead and head on into the control center over here. So in the control center, guys, you guys can actually control like all these manual spawners and stuff. The regular zombie is the first zombie you unlock. It is rather slow, very weak, and has a short lifespan. So as you guys can see on the very bottom, I can actually upgrade like the health, the speed, the lifespan of all the zombies. So if I click on this one, can I like actually, how do I do this guys? Hat equipped none. I can buy hats for all of my spawners, guys. That is such a cool freaking feature. Let's go ahead and actually, oh, we do not have a thousand dollars, guys. We do not have a thousand dollars. How the heck are we supposed to upgrade everything, guys? Oh my gosh, this game is gonna be so freaking confusing. For all of you guys who have played this game before in the past, go ahead and show me a couple of tips down in the comment sections below, guys. Wait. Did this wall that I just purchased, oh, I thought it was gonna stop this cop. What is this cop doing, man? Oh my gosh, wait, hold on. All right, guys, I think the problem is this cop right over here, okay? This cop is literally just killing all of our zombies. I have no idea why, like, he's not dying to that door. Like, what the heck? He's walking through that door. He's glitched, guys. He's killing all my zombies, bro. Oh my gosh. I feel like we're gonna definitely need a couple more credits over here so then we can actually buy more stuff. And you know what? Let's go ahead and just spend a thousand Robux, guys. Right off the bat, we're getting at 5,000 credits right there, guys. Let's see what we can actually purchase with this. Let me head on into the control center. The very first thing that we want to do. Oh, what's this? Let me buy the door. No, 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 no. Let's buy some walls. This freaking guy is camping all my zombies. Zombies, what the heck is this, dude? Look, oh my gosh. I feel like the best thing that we can use for our money, guys, is probably these upgrade health ones. So let me go ahead and upgrade those right now. Literally have no idea what that just did. Let me go ahead and close this down really, really fast over here. Now, do these zombies actually have enough power to take down this freaking cop right here, guys? The zombies are still dying. What am I supposed to do, guys? Okay, hold on, hold on. Let me go ahead and actually just purchase all these other things on the side over here. I literally have no idea what what these things are for. I feel like they're just cosmetics. Buy a ladder to the second floor. Sure, why not, dude? Let me get a ladder to the second floor. What is even on the second floor? Nothing, dude. Okay, guys. I feel like I'm in sort of like a glitched lobby because this freaking cop right here, guys, is just absolutely wrecking all of my freaking zombies. I don't know what to do, guys. I don't know what to do. Like, this hand crank is definitely not gonna help. But the thing is, these people are definitely not dying either. So what do I do, guys? Buy the second floor. Do I buy a second floor right now, guys? You know what? We have to. We have to we're gonna go ahead and purchase a second floor real quick maybe that'll help these zombies out where the heck is everything dude how come these zombies are just dying come on zombie come on zombie you can do it <sighs> guys this camping cop is literally ruining my life this camping cop is literally ruining my life. <gasps> Go! No, you're so close. Okay, you know what? Let's purchase just the rest of these things down here, guys. We might just need to purchase as many things as possible before we can actually upgrade all of these freaking things. Guys, let me go up to the second floor. Maybe we can actually upgrade our zombies if we come up here by zombie path, by player points. Guys, we need to buy the zombie path. We don't have enough money. Our life is literally getting ruined by this cop right here are you serious wait can i kill him guys can i kill him <gasps> stay away stay away from my zombies i can't make money <laughs> guys i legitimately think i'm in a glitched lobby right now because literally this cop is just chilling inside my freaking control center killing every single one of my zombies like they have no chance look and I, there's no possible <gasps> we got him yeah <laughs> Oh my gosh, go zombies, go. I just I just walked through the, uh, all right guys, uh, we're not gonna talk about it. Let me just walk through my doors. I need to see it, I need to see it, yes. Get them zombies, go, go, go. The zombie apocalypse is starting, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my gosh, let's go. My zombie army is just slowly but surely killing everybody in their path, guys, and I've not actually spent the time 
time to upgrade these guys. So we will definitely be getting stronger and stronger zombies as the time does play on. Look at all those Slade Citizen credits coming in, guys. The very last thing I want to do over here, guys, let me buy the 400 Robux exploding zombies. I have to do it. I gotta do it, guys. What is this freaking zombie gonna do, boys? What is this freaking zombie gonna do? The exploding zombie, guys, look! He's got a TNT. Oh my gosh, what is he gonna do? What is he gonna do? Is he literally just YOLOs and explodes, guys. What the heck? <laughs> now, anyways, guys, since I do have a thousand credits here really fast, let me go ahead and actually upgrade the speed of all of my zombies. So the speed multiplier for all of my spawners is definitely just going to go ahead and speed the heck up right now. There we go, guys, making more and more moolah. Look at the zombie. Look at the zombie. Here he goes. Here he goes. <laughs> That is absolutely awesome. Anyways, guys, my name is D-Field. Thank you guys so much for watching today's episode. If you guys did enjoy, go ahead and smash that freaking like button for me. We definitely have to play more of this game. My zombies are going to take over the world, guys. My zombies are going to take over the world. We'll see you guys again tomorrow. Have a fantastic day, everybody. Peace.